Right, hello, welcome to the video. It's been a while since my last video, um, for good reason, which I'll explain now. Uh, and I'm super excited, I'm, I'm hyped about um, what I've got to announce uh, in terms of the Poisson distribution pack. Uh, it's a bit long-winded, isn't it? Just the Poisson stuff, whatever. Um, yeah, man, I've been working hard on it all week, um, well, longer than a week, probably, to try and get the formula sorted, um, to get it to auto-populate a lot more data for you so that you don't have to keep entering team names into different screens and sort of adding uh, predicted um, value odds and stuff because I know that although it worked well and it gave you the results you needed it was pretty much built for my use to start with I guess and I didn't mind messing about with it and doing that um, but it wasn't that user friendly um, if I'm pushing it out to people so uh, yeah I'm super proud of it it's it's been really hard to do for me because I'm not um, naturally sort of um, programming minded it's not really good english is it but basically i'm not mad on um computer programming excel functions and stuff i did a lot of it at university which was a long time ago as you can tell by the lack of hair on the head um and yeah i haven't used it much since so kind of know the basics but not massive on sort of scraping data from websites and and uh, creating calculators and that so it took me a long time um, but I'm proud of it and I, I was going to outsource it I was going to pay for somebody to do it on Upwork um, but I decided to just give it a go and, and I've managed to do it so I'm really proud of it and now I think it's a really great product and there's nothing else actually on the internet that you can get the same results from um, I've looked loads as I mentioned before I've looked for Poisson um, results updated Poisson averages and stuff that I can just plug into a calculator, show me the results and that I can use for my, for my betting. And there isn't anything, there's places where you can get the raw data that you need to put into the Poisson, but there's nowhere that will give you the up-to-date data daily, um, calculate it in Poisson for you. And then what I've also laid on top is the Dutching calculator, so you can then do the, the Dutching as well. So um, it'll give you the correct score predictions and how much you need to stake. You can variable stake and all that stuff. So it's wicked man like it's really good and previously there were three tabs each for each league which made the spreadsheet massive um so now as far as you guys are concerned you only need to worry about one tab so the Poisson distribution and the dutching all on the same tab literally you just have to press the button three times per match so once to select the home team once to select the away team uh and once to enter your stake um so it's it's great, you know. Um, oh, you've got to enter the Betfair odds, obviously, but that's unavoidable. I can't populate them because they're moving so often. Obviously, you, you can't automate that. Um, so yeah, so you have to put in the odds, the real odds. Um, but yeah, it's wicked. It's it's really user friendly. Um, I've got a lot going on in the back end, so I've hidden a lot of the sheets and frozen the the cells. I'm working on now actually getting it set up as a web app, um, so I can put it on the website and you can go and you know, use drop downs and sort of get it all smoothly working without it even being in a Google Sheet. Um, you know, a bit like if you apply for a credit card or whatever and you've got your drop downs in it. So yeah, um but that's gonna cost a bit of money and time. So I am working on it. Um but it might take a little bit longer. But at the moment I think this is this is wicked, like it works perfect. So this uh weekend what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give everybody the opportunity to try it out um with the premier league so i've got all 14 leagues sorted but this um this weekend i'm going to give everybody free access to the premier league poisson sheet um i've already pre-populated it with the fixtures um you'll need to put in the betfair odds or whatever odds you're using um and just you can have a play around with it you can if you if you're that bothered and you really want to get some some sort of free content you can put every fixture until the end of the season in there and look at what the scores are but it won't be accurate because by the time that fixture comes around the averages will have changed uh due to form and you know the amount of goals people have scored and uh so it won't be completely accurate but you know what it'll probably be a starting point um so knock yourselves out you can do that if you want um but i'm going to give everybody access to that the remaining 13 leagues will be locked still for subscribers um and i'm hoping that people will will see the merit in it um so yeah, let me give you a walkthrough. I'm going to show you how it works. Um, and if you want to get involved, if you want to get the free sort of um, sample for this weekend, then head over to uh, mathbetman.com and you can find out more. Wicked. 
Right then, I want to show you the new uh, Poisson system. And um, firstly, I thought I'd have a look at the existing or um, the previous version of the Poisson distribution pack and just talk through the differences really. So this is the original version that a lot of people are using at the moment and it works perfectly well, don't get me wrong. The, the data is all accurate, um, apart from a few glitches that people have pointed out and I'm sorry about that, but that definitely won't happen in future and I'll tell you why. Um, so we had three, three sheets for each league, which is in itself a little bit much. Um, only two that you needed to actually do anything with. So this was the data sheet for the Premier League, for example. Um, and then we had the Premier League Poisson calculations where you'd go and select your team and it would give you the five top scores, the five most likely scores, and it would give you the value odds that you should be looking to get uh, at the bookies. So then you would skip over to the next page, you'd copy those, uh, sorry, copy those value odds and put them in here, as you can see. So you, that, that would not pop you, you have to copy them over, and then you put your Betfair odds in here, um, and you'd also copy over the five top results, enter them in there, Betfair odds, and then it would give you your Dutching score, uh, your Dutching calculator, so if you put 15 in there, it would do that. If you changed it, it would change to that, so it would give you what your equal profit would be. Uh, all good, yeah, and that would that would work perfectly well, and um, was good to go, you know, that, and I've been using that for quite a while. Um, but now I felt like it was a bit clunky. Well, it, I didn't feel like it was a bit clunky. So now we've moved over to this. Um, so this is the new version that I've created. And as you can see down here, there were two tabs for this one, but only for demonstration purposes. Each league has just got one tab now, so it's a lot smoother to use. There's no navigating between tabs. Um, if we look at the data, so the data is all there. It's in a different format now because I would now use uh, a web scraper, um, well, a formula to scrape the web so that I've got up-to-date data at all times for all of the leagues. Um, instead of me going in and manually entering the data every night after the games have been played, um, I'll now scrape the web for the most up-to-date data and get it pasted in here. Uh, the averages are still calculated, but this is scraped from the web. So I've had to rearrange the columns a little bit so that it so that it works and change the formulas in the next tab so that it all flows nicely. Um, but it means the I mean everyone knows anyone who works with a lot of data knows that the more manual uh, intervention, the more chances are for errors. So this means the data is always going to be top notch. It's always going to be completely accurate. You know, it's it's accurate anyway. Uh, I'm confident it's accurate because I check and check and check. But um, it, I'm not saying it's not beyond the possibility that I could miss the odd goal. You know, I could enter 2-1 instead of 3-1 or I could enter an away result instead of a home result. And it would just, it's not going to drastically change the data because it's averages that we're looking at, but I want it to be 100%. So in this new system, it will be. So then if we look at the Premiership, this is what it now looks like. So now we don't have to go through the Poisson Calculator tab and then into here and paste over your odds or do any of that stuff. So now this is, this is what we do. We just select the fixture, so uh, this is for the coming weekend, so Man United, Southampton, just select it there, and it automatically will do everything for you. So um, you can see that this is this is the current stuff, this is the stuff that I'm gonna be giving away this weekend to anybody who wants to, to use it. And these are the actual, actual odds that are being calculated. So you've got your value odds that the system's predicting, you've got the five top scores that the system is predicting, also with the percentages for each score, which I think is quite a useful addition actually, because sometimes you'll get two scores that are pretty much exactly the same. Um, so if you're wondering about whether or not to to put a bet on or, or whether you think, oh, I'm not sure which which five to put on, you might have two that are way out in front and then the other three that aren't actually that likely, but they are the top five results. You know, So it's going to list all five, but it could be that you've got two that are by far and ahead head uh, more likely and you might choose to just put those on obviously the dutching calculator will help you with that um, so we've got the, the five top scores with the percentages the betfair odds which these are just sample odds these aren't the actual odds i've just inputted these for the sake of the calculation so you need to go in and put those in you'd also put your win draw win odds in there so let's i'll show you what happens so uh, what if we put four um six and five so as you can see it highlights the value <laughs> and they're all value according to that so let's say 1.5 so that's not value um so it highlights your value odds still um 
And once you put the Betfair odds in, it calculates what touching stake you need for each score to realise an equal profit. And in this case, it's 13.56, and that's if you put in £20 on. If you want to put £30 on, it'll change it. If you want to put £50 on in total, whatever, it'll change it for you. So it's basically this times this, take away that, will give you the profit. Um, and so you can see that that works for... That gives you everything. That gives you your, your correct scores, your Poisson and your Dutching. Uh, and I'll just show you that it does work. It's not just me f pre formatting it. Uh, Man City, that's something really obvious. Man City, where's Norwich? They are playing Norwich, I think, this weekend, aren't they? Or well, Leeds, whatever. Um, so, yeah, you can see here the value odds on that one would be 1.46 and 80. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not, not looking great for Leeds on that one. Uh, and it's giving you different score lines, as you can see, different stakes, different profits. So if you change that to Liverpool, it's obviously going to be a lot closer, 1.76, 4.98. Your scores are a lot closer, uh, and your profit's still pretty much the same. Take it back down to 15. So you can see that it's really easy just to, to work with it. So you just get your, score, you get your fixtures that you're interested in, just put them in. And it will do everything for you. It changes all of this automatically. It changes this automatically. All you've got to do is enter your Betfair odds and it will then tell you which one's value. Uh, and you put your Betfair odds for the correct scores in here. And I'll just show you that it changes. So every time you change that, it'll update the profit because obviously the different odds you're working with will lead you to a different profit. Um, as I say, you can change this. And I mean, how simple is that? So every fixture you want, you just go in, select the drop downs bang it's done basically so um yeah i think i think you'll agree it's an improvement um and i'm i'm really excited about it it's took like it's took me a long time to do i'm not going to lie it took me longer than um most people who've got an ounce of computer knowledge probably but you know what i was proud to to get it done myself um and i'm, I'm excited to share it with you all so i'll show you a little bit about what's going on um so we've got this is the Poisson stuff here that's hidden and it's frozen so only I can I can edit it. So this is the stuff that was on the separate tab last time with the score predictions, the value and the attacking goal expectancy stuff, which is, you know, the this is basically the Poisson distribution, as you can see. This is that formula. Um, so we hide that because you don't need to worry about that. It's already done for you. And then we've also got some hidden cells over here I'm not hiding anything you can see it's just i don't want you messing with it because it might break um so this is the dutching calculator which uses yeah various formulas to calculate it um and then the issue that was having for a long time was that when you get the five top scores here you can't just say okay for correct scores return the five top answers the five top uh, numbers out here because it would just return 11.9 and that's not a score line is it but you because of the way the grid is built it, it can't return one one well i couldn't get it to return one one um so it's just returning 11.9 so i've then transposed these into these fixtures here so that they link up so nil nil so they're written in a normal format now so now that i, I get these to the actual score returns yeah that it, it's a bit long so it's a sort function um but basically it, it does everything that we want it to do um and again i'll just hide this because you don't need to you don't need to mess with them. if you do mess with them it will go wrong um so you can see that it's all there in the back end that i've done and took care of and any data that needs updating is done by me you don't have to do any data updates you don't have to worry about averages and anything like that all you have to worry about is going in selecting your fixture and laying your laying your bet so i hope you enjoyed this i hope you can see how proud i am of it and how it can be of a massive benefit to you basically um so if you're interested in getting involved with it the trial will just be for this weekend so i'm giving you the premier league just for this weekend um, so go over to the mathbetman.com and on the homepage you'll see how to get hold of it. Um, so any questions let me know and thanks for watching.